Hello students, Rajinder here to discuss with you with new topic that is clinical teaching method. What is the clinical teaching method which provide information about the connection between the theoretical portion and the practical portion. We are going to discuss with this topic. First of all, the definition, clinical teaching is time-limited process whereby the teacher and student create an established partnership within a shared environment in such a way that the teacher's primary operational frame of reference is maintained as the legitimate means for affecting students' behavior towards intended purpose. The clinical teaching, actually teaching which we provide in the hospital and where uh, in this, we provide the uh, individually emphasis on our students and we provide the logics behind the steps of procedure and other things which are uh, practically done on the hospital setting. Okay. Then the purpose of this, provide individualized care. We help the students to learn the procedure individually develop high technical competence skills and practice various procedures in that particular setting, collect and analyze the data and conduct research in clinical area. Okay? Maintain high standards of nursing practice, become independent enough to practice nursing. Develop cognitive, effective and psychological skills. What are that? Cognitive means? Cognitive skills are the core skills your brain uses to think, to read, to learn, to memorize, to reasoning and to pay attention. Fine. And effective skills are the skills related to our behavior and attitudes that need to learn in order to be effective in their personal and professional lives. And the third one is psychomotor skills. Psychomotor skills are development of organized pattern of muscular activities guided by signals from the environment. For example, when someone drive the car, brain give order to the hand where brake the car or where accelerate uh, change the gear of the car. Okay. Meet the needs of clients according to their needs. Students, nurse provide the care to the patient, improve communication skills and interpersonal relationship, develop various methods in delivering care. Then to learn diagnostic procedures and skills, help in integration of theory into practice. Integration means Practical knowledge, when theoretical knowledge we provide, we change into the practical knowledge. Develop proficiency in nursing procedures. Okay. To assist physician, learn managerial skills. Managerial skills are the capabilities and abilities to tackle the interpersonal skills, technical skills, and conceptual skills. They all are collected in managerial skills. To become professionally active members. Then, guidelines for selection of teaching methods. Must be, the teaching method must be appropriate to objectives and desired behavioral changes. And it must be in accordance with the principles of learning. Then, it must be in accordance with the capacity of the student. According to the level of the students, we can select the method. Must be in accordance with the availability of resources. These all things are very uh, good for selection the teaching method. Must be in accordance with the teacher's ability to use it effectively and creativity. Whatever the method selected by the teacher, the teacher should be skillful in that particular message, uh, sorry, method. What are the methods? Clinical teaching methods are client-family-centered method. In this, our 
main focus on the client need or his or her family need then observation we observe the patient about the symptoms and other things conferences and this the students and teacher meet with each other regarding the problem faced by the student or any kind of issues arises in the bedside conferences are divided into following categories clinical conferences related to clinical individual group and stuff okay then nursing care conference and team conference also included in this the another methods are bedside clinic nursing rounds demonstration ward teaching ward class ward clinic case study or case presentation discussion method brainstorming brainstorming is uh, when in the class when we start when we going to start the class that time we write a question to the students and uh, provide a few minutes to the students in that particular period every students put the emphasis on on their brain to think about that thing that is the brainstorming process recording laboratory method health talks health care study assignments exhibition incidental teaching problem solving method research projects and the last one is field trips first one is client family centered approach in this we mainly focus on the client need and family need then observation group conferences the purpose of these are to set objectives and criteria for nursing care to plan methods for improving care to solve problems in good nursing care to evaluate the results of efforts to create team building skills in students and to express oneself assertively right i think these topic these points are clear to you assertive means the students are confident enough to express and express the skills which he learn in the clinical setting then individual conferences individual conferences uh might be unplanned or incidental conference unplanned prior they not plan this conference and incidental when something happening in the clinical area that time the teacher and student talk with each other planned conference which prior we make the goal make the objective to achieve something then purpose of conferences to guide in teaching how to teach the student because our students would be the teacher that's why require more knowledge to discover the interests needs and problems of individual students to help the students to help herself or himself to clarify class knowledge because clarify class knowledge means whatever the students learn in the classroom in theoretical part in the practical area they can uh, they they became capable enough to make the difference between theory and practical then staff conferences nursing care conferences there are phase three phases opening phase when conference start working phase when all members are doing work on that planning then closing phase when the conference finish advantages help the student to collect information in creative way provides real practical learning environment to students and fortifies the thinking of students fortify means strengthen the thinking of the students with knowledge then team conference bedside clinics the purpose of these to provide learning experience to improve the problem solving ability to help for nursing observation in systematic way to understand different equipments used on patients and to prepare nursing care plan there are also three phases introduction phase or introductory phase patient centered 
discussion post clinic evaluation in this the students provide the introduction about the patient and discuss the uh, diagnose signs symptom treatment or problem faced by the patients and after that teacher evaluate the things then advantages it puts the student in an active actual situation covers limited group of students develop qualities of observation and decision taking and shows close contact with reality permits comparison between reality and theory there are also disadvantages sometimes put the patient in a difficult situation poor standardization narrow limits of utilization then nursing rounds the purposes of nursing rounds demonstrate symptoms important in nursing care clarifies terminology studied while the nurses round in the ward that time they can see the symptom in patient in real situation then compare patient reaction to disease and disease condition demonstrate the effects of drugs particular drug which given to the patient illustrates skillful nursing care and understands methods of meeting nursing needs then advantages it develops student psychomotor skills psychomotor skills are development of organized patterns of uh, muscular activities guided by signals from the environment for example driving a car and inculcate the proper attitude among them promote team spirit and professionalism they can enjoy the work in the team motivated to learn more about nursing management of patients in the ward discriminate patients risk category okay then disadvantages require careful planning and only applicable for small group of students after that what teaching method like you give the health talk to health talk in the ward case presentation then uh, case presentation you give you are given to the student uh, teacher and case study also these are comes under the category of ward teaching methods the purposes of these kind of things to supplement to integrate and to utilize is classroom instruction to make the students to apply correct scientific principles based on the nursing activity to enable the student to gain a real understanding of different clinical situations then to inspire the students for self development next is ward class ward clinics and case study or case presentation along with field trips purpose of purposes of these to provide real life situations then to serve as a preview of a lesson and for gathering instructional materials to verify previous information class discussion and conclusion of individual experience to serve as a mean to develop positive attitudes values and special skills then prerequisites it require knowledge of objectives time and transport preparation of the students supervision follow up and evaluation after that values breaks monotony of classroom monotony means every day same routine because of same routine student feel bored to break that monotony the field trip and other things are necessary opportunity for learning attitudes and positive values opportunity for learning and acquiring skills correlates school life with outside world arouse interest and motivation okay arouse interest means students are very enthusiastic very excited to learn in the form of field trip right then disadvantages it's very time consuming it need a uh, lot of time to spend on it 
careful planning is required transportation problem safety precautions are required observation difficulty for large group after that process recording the definition of process recording is process recording is an exact written report of the conversation between the nurse and the patient during the time they were together okay i think you understand this and nursing professional talk with the patient and whatever the dialogue delivered by the patient it exactly written by the student that is known as process recording the uses of process recording as a teaching learning tool as a evaluation tool as a therapeutic tool and there are also three phases preparing the student first firstly prepare student prepare after that the recording nurse patient interaction then evaluating the interaction by nurse teacher and the student then guidelines of process recording goals for working with the assigned patients should be written down before starting personal recording note important factors in patient's personality development mention the therapies which the patient is getting along with that date of personal recording should be mentioned time spent with patient should be recorded the setting and the situation should be written before conversation identify patient's need after completion of process recording student should give a feedback evaluate the process recording as a learning experience at the end of adjustment then the nursing care study the nursing care study is defined as it is the blueprint of nursing care rendered by a nursing student to a selected patient for a particular period by following nursing process approach with an intention to develop comprehensive nursing care abilities right it is the blueprint of nursing care which provided by the student to the patient i hope you understand if you face any problem kindly convey me i'll surely help you okay take care yourself wash hand frequently and prevent trauma crisis thank you very much